everybody. Today we're going to do our stretch class and it's going to include some balance and some strength exercises to hopefully improve our flexibility, our confidence, and to improve our posture. We're going to be lying on the floor, so if you have a carpeted floor or a mat nearby, that would be great. We're going to be using some a chair or a wall to do some of our exercises. So make sure you've got a wall that's open for you to do some of the exercises on. And of course you need your water. So make sure though that you always do the exercises at your own pace. If some of the exercises sound too hard for you or it's not for your shoulders or your knees, don't do them. Or do it in a way that you feel comfortable. So with that, are you ready to start? Okay, here we go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to stand up straight. We're going to be aware of our breathing and our posture. So let's take our shoulders back, hands up to the side, so we're going to be hitchhiking. Abs are in, and we're just going to stand there. And we're going to just sway forward a bit and back. We're making sure we're using all of our muscles, getting them all going. Sway to the side. Both sides a little bit further when you come over. And do it one more time. This way and this way. Okay, let's reach up high, clasp your hands. Reach up high, come up on your toes. Then come down and just make a couple of ankle circles and come back down. Okay, let's stand straight again. Our hands are out to the side and we're going to look forward, chins up, turn your head to the right very slowly. Come down to the front and roll up to the left. You never roll your neck to the back. And roll down, up to the right, and once more down, up to the left, and back to the center. And like we said before, some of us aren't talking much during the this um, COVID thing, so let's just do some hoss. To stretch our vocal cords. So clasp your hands, reach up, and when we come down, it's like a wood chop, but do a ha. I want to hear you really loud. So up and ha. And up. Keep your head up, don't go too low. One more time up. And loud this time. Really stretching out those vocal cords. We're going to come up and now we're going to do the shimmy. We're just going to shake everything in our body. This little bit of a movement that helps with the mobility of our joints and our muscles become more elastic and your abdominals muscles are working. Every muscle is working. Your shoulders are opening up. Everything's just going. And as we do our exercises, we'll feel that we are more flexible. Okay, so now we've done our little ones, we're going to work on the big ones now. First thing we're going to do is just take some big stretches. So reach down, come up, around, and down, bending those knees down, and up, strengthening out those shoulders, and one more really big one. to the front. Okay, we're going to loosen up our neck. We sort of did that already, but this one's going to be more. So we're going to really turn our neck to the side gently. With your eyes, look behind. And let's hold it. Come back to the front, to the left. Back to the front. Back to 
our left. And back to the front. Now this time, we're going to stretch those major muscles in our neck. So just gently, with your left hand, take a hold of your head on the right side and pull over. This time you're going to feel that big, long muscle that goes down through your neck into your shoulder. We carry so much stress that this is just helping to stretch out that muscle. And up. Take your right hand, put it over your left, and just pull down ever so gently. You can feel that muscle. And back up. Roll your shoulders out now. And we're going to take our right arm, reach across the front, making sure you keep your shoulder down. Hold on to it with your other hand, but don't put it on your elbow. Never you put weight pressure on your joints. This is opening up your arm, your shoulder, and your upper chest. Make sure you keep your shoulders relaxed. And let's go to the other side. Again, holding it. You're looking good. Everybody's feeling good. And back to the front. Now we're going to take our, we're going to do the tricep stretch. So just Reach up with your right arm, bend it, hold it, hold the um, top part of your arm close to your ear and stretch out that tricep. Again, don't hold on your elbow, either above or below. Keep your head up straight and feel that stretch. We're holding our stretches for 10 to 15 seconds. If you're at home and doing them during the day, do them a little bit longer or more often. Let's change arms. Feeling that stretch right down through your tricep. And down. I know some of us have problems with your roller cuffs. So we're going to do a stretch for that. You're going to take your right hand, turn it over, and put it on the small of your back, right about your hip. Then take your other arm, put it, your hand, and put it on the upper part of your arm, and just pull it ever so gently around. It's the opposite. And feel that stretch through your shoulders and into your neck. She's going to open up that roller cuff. And back. Left hand, turn, put it on the small of your back. Take your other hand, pull it around. Don't pull too hard, just very gently, just so you can feel it. It's a little bit of pressure there. back. Okay, let's roll up those shoulders. Now we're going to just do our wrist stretches. So put your right hand out, fingers pointed down, push back a little bit. Then pull up. I think you can see what I'm doing. And down. And up. Now let's do the other hand. So left hand, fingers point down. And up. back up. 
There, okay. Let's just um, stretch out our fingers. Make them wide. Make it into a fist, a clencher and fist. So stretch, clench, and fist. One more time. Really opening them up. And bend and fist. Okay, now we're going to go to the wall. So we're going to put our right arm at um, a 90 degree angle. I'm just going to stand here so you can see me. So you got your right arm up at a 90 degree angle and then you're just going to push against the wall and you're going to turn. So I'm just going to go over here to the wall and show you what I'm doing. So my elbow is staying right against the wall. I'm turning out just a little bit and feeling that stretch through your shoulders, your chest. Keep that elbow right at shoulder height and at a 90 degree angle. Okay, we're going to come back. Now we're going to take our left arm. We're going to put it at 90 degree angle at your shoulder height. Put it on the wall and turn out this way this time. Feeling that stretch the back part of your arm into your shoulder. Okay. Roll that. Always roll out your shoulders or whatever joint you're using. Okay, you can stay at the wall if you want. I'm just going to stand here because I've got a chair close by. So let's go up on our heels and bring our toes up. This is um, doing our shins and hold. Okay, now we're going to go up on our toes, high up, hold your abs in. Always remember to do that. This is working the, our calves and our toes. And come down. We're going to put our heels together and we're going to go up on our toes again. We're going to work the inside, outside, and the front of our cap. So we've got three different exercises to do for this one. And up on your toes and hold. We're going to have the best looking calves around. And come down. Now put your toes together. And come up on your toes again. Now this is for the inside. quad stretch, which is the top part of your leg. I like to hold on to something. We're not really doing a balance stretch right now, but if you prefer it to be, that's okay. So we're just going to take a hold of your, op your foot, your shoelaces if you got shoes on, wherever you can hold on to. Bring that knee as close to your other knee as possible and let it come back a bit if you can. Don't ever put it forward. You'll get a better stretch if you can hold it. Abs are in. Your head's up, chin's up straight. Closer you can keep it. And if you're able to, just let your hand go down for a while and try a balance. I know I'm not doing enough balance exercises. And down. Now we're going to take a hold of the other leg, the foot, wherever you can hold on to. Bring it close to your other knee. Keep your legs together. And if you can pull it back just a bit, you get that bigger stretch. Like I 
gets our stretch through here. And now this one is going to be our hamstring. That's the one behind. So we're going to put your hands on your hips. Step forward. Bend your back knee a little bit. And we're just going to feel that stretch. And we're going to come up on our heel, if you can. The front heel. If you can lean a little bit further with your, um, and reach from your back, lower back, and get a fuller stretch. Whoops. This is a balanced one again. You'll feel it up your hamstring and into your caps. But just from the lower back. Don't, don't come down like this. Just come up and just bend at your lower back. And come back up. Let's do the other side. Let's start with our hands on our hips first. Just stretching it out. Come up on your heel, bending that back leg just a tad, holding it, feeling that stretch, and let's go a little bit further and reach if you can from your lower back. Hold it. And up. Let's just do a back bend. Put your hands on your kidney area. We're going to go backwards. This is a good stretch for your back. So just watch your neck. Take your hands there. Reach up your whole core and come back and hold. Protect your neck at all times. Come back up. Let's do it one more time. So really pull in your abs and come back. To protect your lower back, we have to have our abs pulled in. Good job. Okay, now we're going to do our obliques. So we're going to step over. We're going to put our, we're going to stand up straight. Step behind with your right leg. Your right arm goes up. And we're going to reach over. So it's going to be for our obliques, our whole side here. So cross your feet and come over and you can put your left hand just in front. You're sort of like doing a ballerina, trying to keep your body all in one straight line, feeling that stretch. And I can feel it into my hips too. Really pushing out that right hip. Driving it out to the side. up. Let's cross the other way. And bring your arm up over your head. Keep it near your ear. Feeling that stretch down through your side again. And again, you can just bring your other hand in front. Feel that stretch. Pushing your hip out to the left. Really pushing it out. And come back up. Okay, now we're going to do our tabletop. This one is for our abs. So we're going to stand up straight. Your feet are just a little bit apart. Bend over from your lower back and really pull in those abs. Put your hands on your abs when you go over and feel them coming in. Hold it in. Don't hold your breath though, just hold the abs in. Right down to a tabletop, then look up. Let's do that one again, so come up. We're going to go down, have your abs, you're going to hold the hands there. This just shows you what you're holding on to. So pulling your abs, come down, tabletop. Keeping your shoulders up, but pulling your abs in, and put your head up. Pretend you're going to look at me. And come back up. Good job. 
Okay, now we're going to go down on our hands and knees. And we're going to do the stretch where we pull in our abs and our head goes down. Hold it, really arching up your back and pulling in your abs. Now we're going to do the opposite. Head comes up, stomach goes down. Really stretching out those hips now. As you can tell, I've got a fan here and it feels really good. Come up again, bringing in your stomach, your abs, punching your back over. together. So, if you can, as close as you can get them. If they're out there, that's okay. If they can come up close to you, that's better. And hold them sitting up straight. Don't slump over. Straight as you can get. Keep your shoulders back, your abs are in. Now we're going to take a deep breath in and we're going to bring up our legs. So it's going to be in, Bring them up like a butterfly, and when you go down, see if you can stretch them a little bit further. Eventually, we're hoping that you can get your knees right onto the floor. As you can see, I've got a long ways yet to go. This is for your groin, your hips, and your glutes really feel it through here and down actually let's stay in this position and bring it back in a little closer if you can and now let's just lean over and see how far you can go let's reposition ourselves we're going to come up on our sits bone so lift yourself up and sit down on that sits bone the bone that's in your pelvis that's used for sitting because otherwise, I'm going to turn to the side here so you can see me. If I'm sitting like this, it's curving in my, I'm sitting on my butt. I want you to sit on your sits bone. So lift yourself up. And you can see that now I'm sitting proper. And I've got a much better posture. Now see right there how far over you can go. If you can get your nose to your toes, you're doing really well. Come back up. This really stretches up your back. Okay, we're going to turn now. Again, when, every time we move our legs in our seating position, position yourself, lift up yourself, sit on that sits bone, bring one leg up. We're going to square ourselves up straight and we're going to reach forward. See how far you can go. If you can go to your toes, that's good. Here is okay. But again, we're lifting and reaching from our lower back. All of us can probably just reach over, but we're going to really make sure that stretch comes from your lower back. And just hold there. Take a deep breath and reach a little further. up opposite leg bring this your right leg in as far as you can to your um, crotch and bend over again from your hips lower back and reach up feeling that stretch all the way up the back of your leg and into your lower back your hips Take another deep breath and go a little bit further. And up. This time, we're 
going to do the same movement. So we're going to put our legs out straight, up on your sits bone, bring your left foot up. This time we're going to put our right foot out to the side. So we're going to start square, but we're going to turn. So sitting up straight, your foot is brought in, your right leg's out straight to the side. Put your hands out front and then turn to your, and then reach out that direction. You can hold on to your toes, that's good. Here, wherever you can reach. And pull it. This is for the leg, the inner leg more so, and you also get it through the hips. And hold. Take another breath, come a little further. Change feet. So bring in your right foot, left foot out to the side, straighten yourself up front, and then turn to your left. Reach over with your lower back, touching your toes or your where you can reach. Deep breath and lower it a little bit further. to as far out as we can. We're going to stretch those inner thighs and we're going to come down. So reach your fingers as far out in front of you as you can. You can be down on your elbows, just reaching down, stretching those inner thighs. into the lunge position. So we're going to come up. We're going to have our right knee. We're going to go down on our left and up on our right. We're going to hold in our abs and our glutes. And we're just going to sink into that floor, feeling this stretch. 90 degrees, and just feel that stretch through there. This is for your hip flexors and your quads. And we got our glutes pulled tight and our abs. So we're getting a good stretch through everything this time. And let's change feet. Your right foot on your right knee. If this is hard on your knees, you can sit down on it instead. Come down further. Don't ever injure your knees. Left foot comes up. 90 degree angle. Hold in your abs, your glutes, and sink into this. Feel that stretch through your quads. We're going to do something now. We're going to drop the left leg back. So we're going to put our hands down on the floor. Put your left leg out straight behind you. Take your right leg, cross it over, and hold it there. Now we're feeling the stretch down the quads in a different position. You can stay up like this. Feel the stretch through this leg and through this leg. If you can, come down on your elbows and relax into it. And hold. Feel that long stretch. You can come up on your toe and feel that stretch more. 
Switch the other leg, so our right leg goes back straight, our left leg comes over in front, and then we come down so that we can feel the stretch in the quad and in the other quads too. Both quads are engaged right now. Come down on your shoulders, if you, or your elbows if you can, and if you want, come up on your toe stretch a little bit more intense. We're going to come back. We're going to just sit here for a minute and we're going to shake our one foot. Get those muscles all relaxed again and massage your foot. That is, we don't pay enough attention to our feet. That causes our backs to ache. Shake it out again. And then switch over to the other side, the other foot. Shake it out. Just let it go. Just a good shake. And then massage your toes, your arch. Everything going and then shake it out again. There, now we're ready for the next. We come down on your back, bend both knees, keep your right knee foot on the floor, bring your left foot up and over, and push gently on your left upper leg so you get the stretch through there. switch. So the left foot down, right leg up, line the side here, and push gently out. Okay, let's put our arms, our legs straight down. Bring up your right leg, bend Take it up to the ceiling, your foot up to the ceiling. You can hold behind if it's more comfortable. Pulling it into your shoulders. And holding it. Let's take it out to the right side, down where you can. If this is as far as you can go, that's okay. You're still feeling the stretch. Now we're going to bring your right foot up and over your left leg and reaching that direction. If you want, turn your head to the other side and that will get more of the stretch through your core area sides. Bring that foot back and put that one on the floor. Bring your other leg up, that knee straight up. Bring it up to you. Take that leg out to the left. Wherever you can reach it to go. And come back up. Go over your right leg. Stretch it out. And turn your head to the other side. And feel that stretch all through your upper hip down into your leg and into your legs. Okay, come back up. We're going to flip over onto our stomach. We're going to stretch out our lower back. 
So what we're going to do, if you may want to just stay here, and you can feel the stretch on the upper part of your back, and hold. If you can, come up and put your palms closer to your shoulders, and come up just a little bit at first, and hold. back down relax when you're doing this turn your toes towards each other that relaxes your legs and your butt muscles now we're going to go up again so your toes are together towards each other come up and this time come up a little bit further if you can lift up your lower abdomen onto your pelvis and hold If your knees permit, come up and four on all fours and then just slide back and come into, put your hands out front and just put your head down and relax. This is a little bit hard on your knees, so don't stay long. This just stretches out everything. This one, that stretch helps with your bone density. Okay, now we're just going to do our final stretches. So stand up straight, cross your right leg over your left leg, and bring your arms up high, and reach up, take a deep breath in, and come down, stretch the other way, Cross your left leg over, reach up, and hold, and down. Let's take some deep breaths right from your very bottom of your lungs. Let's go down, and up. And down. One more time. We're going to breathe in for four. Hold, and out for seven, very slowly. Okay, give yourself a hug one way, right arm over top. And you come over your hug, clasp your hands together. So your right, your left elbow's on the bottom, your right hand sitting in top, and we're just reaching around. Hug the other way, left arm on top. Again, bring your arms out, hold them. And that's our class for today. So here's your hug for everybody that's come to join us. Have a lovely day, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.